A lot of the people that I know have definitely kind of looked at my life and thought, oh, you, you have it all figured out, but it hasn't all been completely easy. Growing up, Anne was different than, than a lot of other babies. She's blind in her left eye. I've kind of always been sick. Started out with RSV as a child, which kind of cripples the immune system. Every couple of semesters, there's just something, some reason why I'm in the hospital, some reason why I'm on a medication. You know, Anne has faced a, a lot of adversity from not just her health problems, but, but also from bullying. But she continues to rise above it and to work past it. Some of the best ways for me personally to work through adversity is to stay active. I started learning an instrument, and after I would practice every single day at band, I would go out to the golf course and, and do some work out there. She's demonstrated throughout her entire high school career what kind of a leader that she is, and makes the institution or organization that she's involved with richer because of her participation. Hopefully, eventually get in medical school and start working towards uh, being part of Doctors Without Borders, but I believe genuinely that the next chapter is going to change me in ways I can't imagine yet. Being a leader is not the one that's being in charge. It's being the one that understands and is willing to work with other people. It's the one that kind of glues everyone together. At least that's the type of leader that I am. I've been blessed with this amazing person in my life who has worked so hard and has overcome so many things and continues to not let that stop her. You know, it's not often that you get to meet heroes in your life. I got to raise mine. To everyone that sponsors the Women's Leadership Program and the Scholarship Program, especially to Dr. Rice, thank you. Thank you for going out there and being so brave and paving the way for the rest of us to make our dreams come true. I cannot wait to make a difference in the world because of the support that you're giving me.